Uh, I would never, I would never sit here and say that we couldn't turn it around just because I, there's always, there's always enough. I mean, I mean, listen, last year was a tough year. You know, last year was a tough year, and and hence the reason why so many changes were made going from last year to this year. You know, I felt like we we needed to change the culture in the locker room. We really did, and I know you guys have heard that before, but that was the truth. Um, but still, you, you feel like there's enough there's enough good things, you know, that we can find a way. We'll find a way. You know, I mean, I'm the um, uh, Scott Fujita called me annoyingly optimistic at one point. Um, so maybe I am, but uh, I'm the eternal optimist, always feeling like, you know, things are happening for a reason. If you're facing some adversity, and it's there to kind of make you stronger, and, and you know, our best is yet to come, and it, it's you know, it's going to happen for us if we just keep doing the right things. If there was someone in the locker room that that didn't go that way, not just this year, any year. I mean, can you survive in the NFL if you? Well, that's hard don't, to. If you're not that positive all the time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard to. I think it's hard to. Because you're gonna have you're gonna have plenty of tough days. You know you're gonna have plenty of tough days. Whether it be, you know, the fact that you're you know you're losing, you lost a couple games, or the fact that you're beat up and you just you know, man, just coming to work and you're just not feeling it that day. I mean, you just can't have days where you're not feeling it. <laughs> you gotta you gotta you gotta find a way to put your best foot forward every day and get a little bit better. Um, otherwise, if you're going through the motions, then. You know, you're not helping anybody, you're not helping yourself, you're not helping the team. In fact, you're making it worse.